Hey guys, this is Monica with the Remote Plans and today I'm going to budget out my second paycheck of February in my Erin Condren monthly planner. I use this planner for all of my budgeting and I absolutely love using this planner for that purpose. I did go ahead and close out my first paycheck of the month and did my week three February check-in, but we are here to plan out the second paycheck. I keep all of my budgeting stickers here in this back folder. I have my expense trackers. I have my stickers that I use for my debt tracker on the 12 box page. And then I also have um, my February stickers. So when I get done planning with them, I just put them back there. It really helps just to have them all in the same place. That way I don't have to pull out any of my sticker binders or anything like that for my budget planner. I can just pull my budget planner and I have everything ready to go. So I do paycheck budgeting and I really like that like it so far, we switched to paycheck budgeting this year because we were doing a monthly budget, but we were basically budgeting out each paycheck when we got paid. So we went ahead and made the switch and it's just really nice to be able to do it all in one and not have to do a monthly and then a paycheck budget. And I am of course using the stickers from my shop. I do have a printable shop on Etsy it has budgeting and planning and all of that. So, and I will have that link down below if you want to check it out. I'm using the paycheck kit right now. And I actually have two of these because this is the old layout where um, one page included the budget and this script, but I did change it to where one page includes two of these. And then there's a page that includes this with some, with also some basic labels. And then I have the washi page. So I'm going to go ahead and put down this diagonal stripe washi. And I just love the colors of this kit. I love the, I just love the soft grays with the blush pink and the navy blue. It's just really pretty. And then I'm going to put the script sticker down and just do paycheck two. And that is ready to go. So the first thing that we lay down is the income. We want to check our income first. And So let me zoom y'all in a little bit. Okay. So the income that we track is we track my paycheck. We track my husband's. We track my Etsy shop. And then I'm going to do miscellaneous, which is anything that's not my paycheck my husband's paycheck or Etsy. So that could be refunds that we get. If we get a next stimulus, the stimulus would go in there. So things like that go in the miscellaneous. And then I also do a rollover. And so when I close out the paycheck, I actually look at the paycheck and see how much do we actually have extra. And if it's a good bit, I go ahead and put that towards goals. But I always like to roll over just a little bit just to give us that little cushion for the next paycheck. So I've got my total line in there. And then I have to draw lines because I will be super crooked <laughs> if I don't. And sometimes even with the lines, I'm still super crooked. And I need a ruler because I cannot draw a straight line to save my life. All right. So I'm just going to put down this little decorative piece of washi. Uh, I like to put this down right here because it kind of breaks up the income and the expenses and gives it a little bit more decorative feel to it. So then I use, so on this kit, you get the expenses and the total expenses, but we actually are going to do the variable and the fixed expenses. So, I'm 
I'm just gonna put that down here. And so our variable expenses, we have eating out. And then we have extra debt. We changed the name of this to extra debt from Snowball because we're not really doing the Snowball method anymore. We're putting money extra towards debt and we're targeting a debt and paying the minimum balance on all the other ones, but we're not really targeting the lowest debt amount. And that was mainly because it just didn't make sense because the lowest debt amount is my husband's student loans and he is in school and so those are being deferred and so we um, balance transferred our discover our credit card to discover so we have zero percent interest so that is the one we're paying off now and then we have gas for the cars and then we have and i'm just going to put car right here and then we have giving and then we have groceries and unbudgeted. So not too much. And yes, I just ripped that sticker. Oh, don't you hate that when you're getting the sticker off the page and you rip it? Oh, it's just so sad. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw my lines into here, going down to into the sticker. And I am using um, removable matte sticker paper. I have to use removable. It just because I need to pick up my stickers and move them. So, but since my stickers are printable, I went ahead and included what I use to print a, to print and cut my stickers down in the description box below. So if you want to check that out, if you're not sure what kind of sticker paper to use, I linked the one that I use and what I use to cut my stickers. So for our fixed expenses, we have the car payment for our Ford, and then we have my student loans, and then we have my allowance, Um, we have my husband's student loans and I'm putting it in there, even though we're not going to actually pay that, but we're going to be doing something with it. So, but I'm, we haven't really decided yet. We actually have a meeting at the beginning of March with a financial advisor to kind of go over everything. So we may be putting that money towards something other than just extra debt. So we are gonna wait, um, but I do wanna go ahead and make a spot for that because we do wanna go ahead and take it out of this paycheck budget. So then we have Netflix, my husband's allowance, our mortgage. And then we have life insurance. So then just put this total amount down and I'll go ahead and draw this line. Okay. For eating out, we are doing 150 this paycheck because we usually do 100, but we are doing our date night of the month. We do a date night every month. We're doing it this weekend. And so I want to put some extra money. We're not sure if we're going out or we may just be getting takeout. 
I'm eating at home, but my mom has Michaela this weekend, so we're gonna be doing something. So I just wanna add in a little bit of extra money to take care of that. For, for the extra debt, we're doing 200. For the gas for the cars, we are still doing the 125. We did up that for the last paycheck because my husband is going to school, he's driving a little bit more. So we just wanted to up that a little bit. We did really well last paycheck and we didn't even hit the 100 that it was before, but I don't wanna just take it down yet because gas, it's a lot about timing. So, you know, we're good on gas, but we'll, we may end up getting an extra tank of gas in one of the cars this paycheck period. So just wanna keep it the same. We actually don't share what we do for giving. And then for groceries, we do 200 and that comes down to $100 a week. And that includes groceries and then household items like toilet paper, paper towels, dishwasher stuff, laundry detergent, anything like that is included in the grocery budget. Um, we were, and then we don't have anything for unbudgeted. So that is all of our variable expenses for the paycheck. With the fixed expenses, um, actually I completely lied. That is not all of our variable expenses for the paycheck. We have sinking funds. Cannot believe I forgot that. I love sinking funds. All right, so I'm just gonna move that down and that is why I need removable stickers <laughs> because it never fails. It either goes down crooked or I need to move it for some reason. So that is why removable stickers are a must for me. All right, and then for sinking funds, we are not doing that much. We were just doing $247. Um, compared to what we usually do. And that is because we have a lot of big bills coming out at the end of the month. So typically we do a lot of our sinking fund, um, sinking funds. We do a lot of our sinking funds in the beginning of the month because we have a lot of big bills coming out at the end of the month. So for our fixed expenses, we have Ford, which is $298.55. And then we have Lynn Key, which is my student loans, and that is $367.03. And then my allowance is $75. Nelnet is $14.97. Just kidding. Y'all, I'm just not with it today. Nelnet is $126. Netflix is $14.97. I have my draft budget off to the side. <laughs> so, and then for Victor, um, we do $75 to each of us. Our mortgage is $668.07. And then Western Southern is $67.34. So, and looking at that, we have two ninety-eight fifty-five. So just adding all of this up. Is sixteen ninety-one ninety-six. So yeah, all of our like big payments come out at the end of the month. So that's why we kind of do our sinking funds the way we do them. So the last thing that I'm going to put is this estimated balance and actual balance. And I like to leave a little bit of room here 
because once we close out the paycheck and if we move anything else before we put it the rollover into the next paycheck, I like to put it here. And that way, when we look back on it, I can see, okay, we had this much balance and then this is what we did for it, And that's why this balance doesn't fit. So this balance is not going to match the rollover of the next paycheck. I hope that makes sense. So it just gives us a record of what we did with that before we go into the next paycheck. So I want to go ahead and track the sinking funds that we're going to be adding to. And I'll go ahead and track those. There's only a couple. So from every paycheck, we give to our daycare fund. So we, um, we pay our daycare quarterly and it, that's just how we did it in the beginning and it just kind of works for us. So then we save 230 every two weeks. That's not what daycare costs every two weeks, of course, but with the way we save it and especially through this 2020, we had weeks that we didn't have to pay anything, which helped that balance too. But that is the number that we have just found works for us. And we get a little bit of a discount for paying in advance. So we just do that every paycheck. It just gets auto drafted into our sinking fund account. And we did that because um, that way we don't have to worry about keeping a minimum balance in the account and fees and all of that. So the second one that we are doing is we started a sinking fund for taxes. And this is not like to pay taxes, but this is the to cover the cost of the CPA. Because we did get a CPA this year. And so that is just to help cover the cost of that for next year. And so that is where that's coming from um, to help fund that and the difference and things like that. That is the only sinking funds that we are adding this paycheck. So unless something happens, <laughs> so, <laughs> because you never know. Um, so yeah, that is our paycheck. So yeah, that is our paycheck too for February um, I just, I love these colors so much and I think it'll be a good two weeks. Um, you know, we've had kind of a rough, a little bit of a rough January, not super rough. And then the last paycheck went pretty well. And so I'm hoping that that continues and I'm excited for in the beginning of March, we're going to sit down with a financial advisor. We sat down with her a few years ago but we just weren't at that point yet. And then now we're a little bit more at that point of starting like doing a little bit more investing and things like that. So I'm excited just to move forward with that and kind of see how that affects our budget. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't already hit subscribe so you don't miss any more of my videos. I hope you all have a great day.